Well, it has been such a long time since NASA has had one of its own rockets designed to carry astronauts into space. It's been 11 years since the last space shuttle launch, 50 years since the last launch of the Apollo program. But now Apollo's mythological twin sister, Artemis, is sitting on the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center just days away from making its first flight. And part of the reason NASA wants to go back to the moon is because this time around, they want to leave a lot more than just flags and footprints. Here's NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. Fifty years ago, we went to the moon for a day, uh, a few hours, three days max. Now we're going back to the moon to stay, to live, to learn, to build. And when he says build, he is referring to building lunar bases on the moon. And part of the reason NASA and the United States want to do that is because China has plans to do that too. But first, the Artemis rocket has to pass this critical test flight. It's going to launch Monday morning. If all goes according to plan, the rocket is going to separate from the capsule and the capsule will then head to the moon on its own. It will orbit the moon for about two and a half weeks at times getting within just 60 miles from the surface and then it will return to Earth, test out that all important heat shield before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. And the reason that heat shield is so important is because it's designed to protect astronauts who will be inside that capsule, hopefully on future flights. And so if all goes well, those first astronauts will be on Artemis II, which will likely be in 2024 and will orbit the moon. And then the big one, Artemis III, that is when NASA intends to return American astronauts to the moon.